once again we are here Coda TV we are here with you once again today today we're going to be talking about we're going to be having a discussion with a gentleman called brother Louis he's an author a very solid author Christian author he's come up with many books and one of them is the very latest book that he's going to launch tomorrow Saturday we just want to have a chat with brother Louis so just so that the body of Christ will know what is happening because we know that knowledge is the only thing that will prevent us from perishing and this is what he's putting together to solidify the information base of the body of christ just enjoy yourself as brother louise joins us soon do, while the souls of men are It's another time again, like I said, Brother Luis is ready. We'll be having a discussion with him. The lunch is going to be done tomorrow, Saturday. In Australia, I will tell you, Brother Luis will break the news. He's going to tell us the venue, the time, and the states where everything is happening. Just hang in there for a minute, and you are going to love what is going to happen. Good, thanks yourself. I know there's something happening very soon, and it's gonna be a beautiful thing. That is um, a book lunch that is coming on tomorrow, Saturday. Yes. Okay. So, um, generally, what we're gonna do is um, you're just gonna discuss a few things. Um, we know that um, Bible says that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. And we being Christians and belonging to the body of Christ, wanting not to perish, one major thing we need to dwell on is knowledge and information. Mm -hmm. So God richly bless you for the fact that you've taken it upon yourself um, to be spending much of your time and your energy and everything, resources to come up with um, 
something like this, something that would help the body of Christ to actually take advantage of not being, I mean, belonging to the perishing body. So in the All first right. place, we thank you. And I welcome, welcome. It's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to, to be used by God in this way to write this book. So it's a privilege and an honor. We thank God for that. We thank God for that so much. So, in a very, in a, in a very brief way, can you please um, tell us about yourself? Who is Brother well, that, Louis? <laughs> that that question always gets harder and harder to. I know. Because Blaine, you, you, the, the, the Louis or everyone ca comes in so many phases, you know. So I understand yeah. it's going to be tough. But in relation to your. Um, your, your, your ministry as a minister, as an author, please tell us about yourself as a Christian. I'd say uh, Lewis is, um, I'd say, currently is the pastor of the Revived Church in Melbourne. So I'm currently a pastor of the Revived Church in Melbourne. Um, or author, this is third book hmm. out so far. Um, there's a couple coming out soon in August as well. And um, I'd say uh, a believer. Um, I would say also that a man of one wife. Mm -hmm. And I'd say that's, that's Lewis in a nutshell. Um, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We thank God. So, um, Brother Lewis, can you please tell us something about why you wrote, like, how many books have you written so far? So, two books are out. This will be the third one that's coming out. But I have about, I'll say, 14 books, which are almost done due to come out. So, in August, there's another five. It's a series coming out in August. So, in, in August, there's a five, five due to come out in August. So, what will be the title of some of the books you've already got in the system? So, the first one was An Encounter with the Holy Spirit, which was the first book. The second one is understanding the tides, which mm. that that was a very difficult and a challenge one, a challenging one to write. Um, you you can understand for the topic, but um, oh. that that was a very challenging book. Yeah. And um, one coming out, which is the nine portraits, one cross. What did you say again? Nine what? Nine portraits, one cross. No, please, please. This is going to be amazing. Um, I wish, I wish that book was already here. Nine portraits, one one cross. cross. Wow! C can you tell us something about this? I'm, I'm excited already. I think um, the the idea of the nine portraits, one cross was birthed from. I watched a movie which is called Vantage Point, hmm. and while while at the cinema what i realized was that the the producer intent was to retell the story from they told the story from about five or six different angles mm. and when you watch the first angle you jump into a lot of conclusions that you retract when you watch the second angle mm. so each angle revealed something more than the first so Ooh. You are really forced not to make a conclusion until you've seen all perspectives, seen all angles. Then you can make a, a solid conclusion. And um, I, I draw from that with the nine portraits. So in the nine portraits, what I'm, what I try to do is I retell the birth, death, and resurrection of Christ through nine different angles or nine key people who had direct influence in the death. And the resurrection of Christ. So that's what I do with the nine portraits, one cross. Wow. So, so if I may ask you, um, what is actually the source of your inspiration? I'd say scripture. Scripture is scripture alone is the source of all inspiration. Um, as we as we desire to study the Word of God more and know more more about God, He reveals Himself to us in a way that allows us to also write these things so that we can help the body of Christ to understand him better and know him more. So I think that inspiration is above all is scripture, scripture alone. And I think that 
over time I have come to stand and believe with Martin Luther as he said that except he is persuaded by scripture, he will not recant. And I think that I believe that unless there is a higher authority above scripture, then there is nothing that not, nothing there that that can um, say persuade me otherwise. So it's scripture, scripture, scripture. Scripture alone, yes. Wow, wow, that is that is deep. So what what one thing too is um. Can you tell us a little about these? You, you mentioned nine pillars, one cross. Mm -hmm. So how how do they come in? How, how okay, do so they form a book. What are the pillars? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so what 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 I write is first person. I'll give us a sneak peek. So imagine Mary being the mother of Jesus mm -hmm. at the cross. Yeah. Is she crying for her son, or is she crying for? a messiah or the savior does mm. she really understand what's happening on the cross mm. Mm. so what i do is i take nine individuals who were at the cross who were mm. significant in the life of jesus mm. and then how they saw jesus on the cross and the lessons we can learn from it as individuals looking back at the cross today so we are not only talking about mary but also looking at lessons that we can look back at and apply to our lives today wow. so as a mother, going through challenges, having difficulties with your child. If you're a Christian and you believe in Christ, do you see your child as a stubborn child or do you see the child that this issue they are dealing with, is there? there is a spirit behind it. So you go behind the child and then fight it on your knees in prayer. Or are you only going to fight the child physically and keep beating them up and then only looking at the physical? So through this book, I'm able to, um, shed more light into us understanding that not everything we see physical is only based on physical. There is more to it, and we must go behind the scenes to see what's really going on. Wow. It's it's getting more and more interesting. So are you confirming the fact that um, life is purely spiritual? I, would, I wouldn't want to jump the extreme and say it is only purely spiritual. Mm -hmm. However... The spiritual plays a very key and significant role and aspect in life. Wow. So, yes, while we don't only rely on the spiritual, because sometimes we get carried away to the extreme where we only fantasize on the spiritual without doing any work in the physical. Mm. But we must understand that whatever happens in the physical has a spiritual connotation to it. So you must have a right balance between the physical and the spiritual. You cannot wow. do without the other. Wow, wow, that, that is that is so deep. That is so deep. So, what what will be the nine pillars? You know, what would you, what would be the, the nine pillars? I'll say I, I would I'll give you a teaser. I'll give you probably five. I wouldn't give okay. all nine. I'll all right. wait till tomorrow. So, the first person that I analyze, as I already mentioned, is I look at the life of Mary. Um, mm -hmm. The second person there is the high priest. What role did the high priest? play in the life of jesus leading to the death as jesus was even hanging on the cross was the high priest satisfied okay i've accomplished my role or did he begin to have some regret did he begin to realize that oh i must have committed we may have killed the messiah what was the high priest thinking at the time that jesus was on the cross another person which to me is the most interesting person that fits all of us is barabbas here's a guy that the whole town had had him arrested, ready to be crucified. And then the same people who got him arrested now chooses him over Jesus. Wow. So as Barabbas is standing on the mountain watching Jesus die on the cross for him in his place, what is he thinking? Hmm. And that is all of us. We have all sinned at a time, but Christ died in our place. So as we look back at the cross, do we see that that should have been us. This could have been me. But here is Christ, the sinless one who has died in my place. If that is the case, how then should I relate to him? So mm. Barabbas for me is the most significant out of all the nine portraits. If, if I was to buy the book, it would be that character. I'll jump to and read him first before reading everyone else. Because Barabbas is really the link between all of it. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. So if Barabbas 
is the person that you would be challenged to push straight away for at the first go. What would be so? How many? How many of them have you given us now? So I've given you Mary. I've given you the high priest. I've given you Barabbas. Uh -huh. I can chat. I can throw in another one. I okay. look at the two. The bonus, yeah? Yes. I look at the two thieves on the cross. Hmm. Often, we say that the one of the thieves on the cross um, asks God for forgiveness and asks Him for a place in heaven, and then He says, "Yes, God will take him." But when we really study Scripture, you realize that both thieves started off insulting Christ. They both, both of them, hmm. they were both insulting Him. Wow. Both of them were raining insults at Him. Wow. And then one had a change of mind and then said, stop it. This is the Messiah. And then ask God for forgiveness. So the question is, what did he see Jesus do on the cross? Mm. What did he hear that made him change his mind? Because scripture is so clear. He started off, both of them were insulting him. But at the point, one of them had a change of mind. What happened? Why did he change his mind? Hmm. Does that give us a clue into that when we don't understand God and we don't understand the things of God, we may have an absolute decision. But the more we know about Christ and we experience him, there is an opportunity for us to change our mind and accept him as the Messiah. So I think that all of these characters really throw light into our personal lives today and how we even accept the gospel today. Wow, wow. Pastor, you know one thing? One thing that is making this a challenge right now to me is this. How someone saw Jesus with a particular eye on the yes. same cross. He didn't get down. Yes. He stayed there and on the same cross went through different phases of thinking. Yes. So, and you know how I was saying? How he so made use of that short time. Yes. has made a way for him in the heavenly kingdom. Yes. So it doesn't yes. matter how short, how, how short the time we have on earth is. It doesn't matter yes. how limited we are in resources. If we can yes. be able to align See our Christ will first with is. God and think in line mm. with God, we can make yes. use of maybe 30 minutes, much more than how we have spent the rest of the 69 years we have spent on earth. Yes. And, wow. and then, interestingly, this guy was on the cross dying. So dying. The, the one in pain, in all the most excruciating pain, mm. still had a moment to be able to analyze everything that was going on Cut. and accept Christ. So wow. you have no excuse. You, we have wow. all the liberties. We have all the freedoms today. Wow. Technology has made access to the word of God so easy mm. that you have no excuse. If somebody on the cross could take time out mm. and seek out Christ, what is wow. your excuse? Absolutely no excuse whatsoever. This is profound. He had a short time to die. He was yeah. actually on the, yeah. on the downward journey. Yeah. But yes. within that short time, he, what he could not do all the days of his life in comfort, yes. he was able yes. to do that within a short time in discomfort yes wow pastor i think i need a copy of this book <laughs> i can't wait for tomorrow viewers look if if i were you i was just finding a way to contact brother louise to get a copy even before the lunch because i have a feeling that anybody that comes in there might buy the whole book in, in bulk <laughs> Someone will just grab everything. The only thing is that he cannot finish everything online. <laughs> so no, that is the only, <laughs> only, that's the only grace. But I tell that's, you, yeah. if, if I have a copy in my hand today, I would really love it. But with the little I have read so far, trust me, this interview, I couldn't wait that it comes on. Ah, thank, thank you so what much. I, what I want to ask is, um, if someone wants a copy of this book after the book launch tomorrow, what yes. do you do? Okay, so af after tomorrow, it would mm -hmm. be available on almost all book online bookstores. So it's on Apple, it's on Google, it's on Amazon, it's on Kobo, it's on Kindle. Any significant ebook store, it's available. It's available. But yes. are you are you happy to break the title out, or are we gonna see it tomorrow? 
We'll see tomorrow. We'll see. We'll, we'll see to tomorrow. The title tomorrow, and we're gonna see we'll, the cover we'll get tomorrow. To the title so tomorrow hopefully, and hopefully, um, we 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 will get a short video of this. The, the, I mean, the actual lunch time. We will get the cover, the co the cover, and then yes. we will bring it live to viewers. What happened? How it happened? What it looks like? So that you don't buy any other book thinking that is this book, because with the Definitely. content of this book. I tell you, you will need to know it and make sure you don't pick any other thing apart from this one. Because if you make a mistake and pick any other book, you may not like it. And and I think even with the cover, the artist that designed it did an amazing job that hmm. even when you look at it at first go, you hmm. think, oh, this is what it means. But there is almost up to nine different aspects of the image. So she hmm. did an incredible job. I would wow. say well done to Abeko for that design. She did an incredible wow. job. Would you would you want to recommend her to someone? De or? Definitely. If yeah, anyone you can, you is can, looking for, you can go ahead and please mention mention her name where we can. Yes, find her, her name is Abeko. So um, come again. Abeko. A M A Beko B E R K O H. Mm. And um, contact her for any. She she does graphic design. So any artwork that you you want. Contact her and she does an am amazing and incredible job. She she did the cover design. She's redone the cover design for the first book I did as well wow. on the Encounter of the Holy Spirit. She did the cover book for Understanding the Tight. So she she does really, really incredible work. Wow. And the work due to come out, God willing, in August, she's doing the cover design for those ones as well. So. Wow, she, she's perfect. done and this is this is amazing so where can we physically find her or is she online or? she she's in sydney she's online on mm -hmm. all platforms um instagram facebook it's amabeko on instagram or facebook oh okay viewers if you need anything done for you please contact amabeko she's the person because with what i've seen the little i've seen trust me it's it looks good ama good job congrats even the invite she she designed the invite. So even the invite, she did the invite. It's very conceptual, trust me. It's very conceptual and it's deep. I really loved it when I saw it. It's it's really good. So um viewers, we should get ready and then be ready to make sure that we are going to all be there. Uh, Pastor Lewis, is it gonna be online or is it gonna be just indoors? No, we will stream it online as well. So once it's launched, we would then launch it online as well so at the same time that we launch it online we would open it up for anyone to now be able to buy it online as well from tomorrow okay viewers just hold on for a second we will be with you very soon in a minute Koda TV, reconciling humanity to the source. Stay blessed. Koda TV, reconciling humanity to the source. Stay blessed. Welcome back, viewers. Um, we are back. We are about to wrap up this interview. Um, Pastor Louis, please, what have you got to tell everyone? But before you tell us what you have to tell everyone, I would, um, we've lost Pastor Louis for a minute. Pastor Louis, are you there? Um, yes. Okay. So um, before that, can you tell us the venue, the time, if that's also all right? Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's in Melbourne. If you're anywhere in Melbourne, it's going to be at number 28 Slater Parade. 28 Slater Parade, Kilo East, postcode 3033. Address again is 28 Slater Parade, Kilo East, Victoria, 3033. The time is 5 p.m. Please, no African time. So it's 5 p.m., no African time. We're there only 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., and we're done. Only two hours, and then we're done. Perfect. Okay, so Pastor Luis, what have you got to tell our viewers? 
I think I would be ending um, the 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 reason that I we tried as much to get this out for Easter is that this book leads into Easter season, mm. and then I believe that for me personally, I believe that Easter, as Paul writes, is the most significant of our Christianity. Mm. Um, if we read First Corinthians chapter number fifteen, verse one to four, he tells us that if Christ had not died and resurrected then our Christianity is in vain. Right. So without the resurrection of Christ, Christianity is in vain. Hmm. Therefore, what we preach is useless. So Easter is the most significant for every believer. That if you don't believe in anything else, we have to believe that Christ was born, that he died on the cross, that on the third day he resurrected, that he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Hmm. And if you don't believe in this, then you're not a Christian. Hmm. This is so, it's so pivotal to our, our, our Christian faith is the foundation that everything else is built on. So I believe that as we're going through the period and this season of Easter, let us reflect on what Christ has done, the significance of his death on the cross for us, that no other person could be enough to pay the price that accept Christ. And then ask yourself, why the blood of Jesus? If God was able to do so much with Moses, if God used Elijah in so ways, so many ways, why couldn't Elijah die on the cross for us but Jesus? That's why right. did it have to take Jesus to die on the cross for us? Mm. And then when you read Hebrews, it tells you that it was needful that mm. Christ die once and for all. Mm. Not like sacrifices which was offered year after year, but once for all. Mm. So as we go through this Easter period, I pray that as you read the book, and as you even study more of the word of God, let it mean something to you. May it not just be another season where, oh, it's Easter. I bought Easter bunnies and I bought chocolate and then lose the essence of what Easter signifies. Mm -hmm. Let us really take time to understand what it means for us today as believers. Wow, 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 wow. wow. This is awesome. God richly bless you, Pastor Luis, for this. Nah, so thank you so much. Before we let Pastor Luis go, there's one thing we can never have enough of, prayer, prayer, prayer. So we will just ask yes. Pastor Luis to pray for us as we are ushering or we've ushered ourselves into the Easter period. People don't take this for granted. If we can get up every day and celebrate the Independence Day of any country because someone died, I don't think there will be anything wrong for me to celebrate a day or an event for the person whom I believe came to die just to reconcile me back to Christ. Remember, yes. Coda TV, our theme is reconciling humanity to the source. What is the source? Yes. Our source as humans, doesn't matter what you believe in, the source is God. And that is what Christ came to do, to die to reconcile us back to God. And Coda TV mm. is here just to reconcile humanity back to the source. So Pastor Luis, mm. we leave ourselves in your hands as you pray with us in conclusion. Father, we just want to thank you for this moment mm. that we are able to gather together to hear your word and to be encouraged in your word. Father, we pray that even as we go through this period, as we go through this season, may it not just be a passing moment for us, that may this season be different. May we begin to appreciate the essence for which you sent your son to die. That Lord, that it is needful that we be reconciled to you through Christ. Therefore, may Christ mean so much and more to us. Even in this period, we pray that Lord, may the scales fall off our eyes. May you open the hearts of our understanding that we will know and get to know you more through your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we pray and commit everyone listening, hearing, watching us later into your hands. Oh Lord, we pray that Lord, if there is any need, if there is any challenge that they are going through, Father, as they are listening, as they are watching, we pray that Lord, may you touch them wherever they are. Father, may the power of the Holy Ghost reach them now wherever they are so that we say that indeed they are blessed. Father, we know that you are able to do that which is impossible with man as we are going through these challenges as we are going through this pandemic we know that it is not 
because we are too careful we know that it's not because we are too watchful we know that it's not because we are we are we are able to take very good care of ourselves because more people who are watchful have died so we want to acknowledge and say father we thank you for what you have done had it not been you oh god on our side where would we have been father we just want to appreciate you and thank you for your continuous blessing of our lives father we pray and commit coda tv into your hands you who have begun a good work i know that you bring it to a purposeful end father we pray that your blessing will fall over it father may it reach far beyond that which he can even imagine father may it go and or far beyond that which you can imagine. And we pray that, Lord, even after you are doing this, Lord, Father, may you bring resources. Father, may you bring people that will come and make this reach as far as we, Lord, want it to be. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Luis and viewers. Thank you so much. Uh, brother Ebenezer for having me I'm really really honored and I, I can say I'm still nervous I'm oh, still no, nervous no, you, you, you'll be fine the Lord is, is with you and will be with you and we hope to have a very successful event tomorrow we will be in Thank tune you. with you and we might bring it live as well so we will have a chat after, after this event so have a great no. day and, and enjoy Thank the rest you. of the day as you go through the preparations and everything that is involved Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Koda TV, reconciling humanity to the source. Stay blessed.